today we're with uh, Francesco Capellini from Portugal, working for me. Anima. And since you are part of the youth group, uh, the youth working group of Repet Europe, uh, and we are publishing a special newsletter on, on, on youth and SSE, we wanted to have uh, your voice uh, in it. Sounds cool. So maybe you can start, Francesco, by introducing yourself and, and maybe as well uh, the, the network you're working with, Anima. Sure. So I'm Francesco Cappellini. I'm Italian, but I moved to Portugal about two, two years and a half ago. And since the beginning of 2020, I'm working for Animar, which is the Portuguese network for local development. And um, well, local development, it's an alternative paradigm, paradigm of uh, growth, of development, uh, which sees development as an integrated structure. So not just the economic part, but also the social part, environmental, the territorial balance, the political participation, and the transformative power of a different kind of economy. And uh, my specific role within uh, this network is to, to work with youth. Uh, well, uh, just to say, um, the role of Animar within uh, the social and solidarity economy is to represent uh, the, the sector of local development in terms of advocacy and um, to do the capacity building of the network because we are like Repasis, we are a network of 120 uh, organizations and uh, many individuals as well. And so we take care of the, in the collective interest of that group and we are a privileged space to aggregate interest and to build partnership and get access to funding. And in specific, I'm working with youth. Uh, I had the privilege and the challenge to, 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 to restart, let's say, a youth area within our network. And uh, our main goal is, um, in a broader sense, youth empowerment. Uh, meant that um, being young uh, nowadays is a challenge. Um, we are so uncertain about our future and what I feel is that our generation might not is exactly like what has been prepared for us. And so we need to be empowered to be able to influence uh, a positive change in the, in the future we want, the society we want. So Repest Europe is quite new to you as a, an experience. It is, like it's not new to Animar, but I guess that we were not so much active lately. And so we took the, the, ch uh, the chance of having me uh, <laughs> as a young person and um, having also an international background to rejoin Repass. And we are particularly active since the late 2020 when we created, we like, we together, Repass decided to, um, to kick off, let's say, a youth and SSC group, um, which to us sounds so appealing because. Uh, what we do as youth empowerment at a level of more, we work more with activism. And so are you individually and collectively, can you influence um, uh, social inclusion, sustainability, the use of space and public policies. But with Repass, we can do a great upgrade, which is also working for the, leg the legitimation of uh, alternatives, um, not just as consumer, but also as um, producers and uh, in terms not of goods, but also of services. For instance, what we are doing with repairs are two, two thematic issues in specific for, for the moment. And one, it's an active project on uh, responsible mobility, um, specifically on solidarity tourism, trying to understand how uh, young people can um, be an added value um, in the welcoming part of tourism, uh, directing the, um, the flows of tourism toward the local economy. And at the same time, how can we be trendsetters and change makers as travelers? Like how can we influence the kind of tourism that is promoted in other way, in other places as, as um, part of the demand, let's say. Um, and the other project you know, was on uh, ethical finance, which is uh, also another way of seeing youth empowerment, which is not just how we can influence uh, uh, the production with uh, our choices, our consumption choices, where we buy products, if it's sustainable, if it pays attention to the supply chain. But in this case, with ethical finance, it's not requested to pay for it because it's just using our saving to promote a better society. 
it's, which is more um, suitable for young people, let's say, because we, <laughs> we don't used to have uh, much money <laughs> still, hopefully. Uh, what is uh, solidarity economy for you? What does it mean to you in a, in a few, few words? In a few words, okay. Um, yeah, to me, such a solidarity economy is, first of all, the legitimation of alternatives. And um, it is the chance of living in accordance to my values, like of living, of working and making choices that are in line with uh, what I believe and what I think is relevant. And um, it kind of allows you to be coherent with yourself, like in, in an age, in an era of information and constant awareness, like we can be aware of everything and uh, the possibility to make choices in line with what we know, it's a privilege. And uh, so social and solidarity economy to me is as this mission to, to allow people to live in coherence with their values and together with other people as well. And uh, would you have, before we, before we finish, um, well, maybe a message of hope for the young generations around Europe or around the world? A message of hope, yes, I, I, I can make it up. And um, my message is that um, the reality doesn't have to be like it is. And um, we have a chance to no access to knowledge. We have the means to, to empower ourselves. And uh, we, are, we are structuring, like with Anima, with Reapers, it's uh, all about structuring networks uh, that can, like make, making a physical structure to make things change in the way we want. It's just a matter of knowing how processes work and understand that like, if, if each of you young people, uh, instead of just looking at the present, you look at the history, you realize that everything is a process and we are in the middle of processes. And so things doesn't have to be like this. It, it, there's no an, uh, upper hidden force that uh, is saying that um, uh, it's gonna, it, we cannot live in an inclusive, fair and sustainable society. It's just a matter of us to be part, effective part of the process and uh, to be part of the change.